Cool. What's up, guys? How are you? Hi. How are, how are you? Good. So, very short amount of time. I want to start with the obvious one, just because I'm curious myself as well. If there is one TV show that all of you have been in, specific individually, which show would that have been in and why? Oh. Emily in Paris. Hey, Kassan. Any show, right? Any show. Right? Fre- any show right? Yeah, Emily in Paris. Yeah, yeah. Probably Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'd go oh. for Outer Banks. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Why Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I don't know. I'm just a big fan of Will Smith. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. All right, and then late, if I'm yes. not correctly, yes. I have heard that you are good at guitar, so I'm totally going to yes. put you yeah. on the spot and Do ask you, you want to play me? something for us. Yeah, sure. خلينا نروح انا وانتي نطلع برا نعيش مكان بعيد ايدي بايد صدقيني شوية وقت رح ننسى كل شي لو لفيت الدنيا كلها انا بس هم انتي وانتي يا قلبي انتي يا قلبي انتي يا اللي فيكي امالي والله انتي يا اللي انتي يا اللي انتي يا اللي تايه بلاكي وخليتي لي قلبي عنا عنا Then we show a teaser. This is a teaser. So I want to yeah. ask, did you start playing guitar or acting first? Which one came first? No, guitar. Yeah. I started singing um, when I was 15. And then I uh, like included uh, some stuff. He learned the guitar by, by himself? By a uh, self-taught mm-hmm. guitar yeah. player. So talented. Who's your favorite guitar <laughs> player out of all, of all time? Um... Uday El Shawakbe. He's uh, oh, he's an, he's a Jordanian uh, guitar guitarist. Okay, nice. I'll have to look that guy up. <coughs> yeah. <you should. coughs> wanna, obviously, with the show, what are some of the biggest differences now between season two and season one? What are some things that you guys have liked seeing some changes, and what are the, some things that fans of the first season can look forward to? Who wants to answer? Uh, go. You can go. So I think uh, the main difference is that the, the theme of season one was bullying. Uh, season two talks about social media and the effects it has on mental health of especially teenagers. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah, and the need for validation from others and how people change themselves just to fit in. Yeah. What are your thoughts on social media for young kids? Do you think there should be a cutoff? Um, <clears throat> I personally don't think there should be a cutoff, but it's works like Rawabi that actually are an eye opener for young people and mm-hmm. parents as well to, you know, show people that it has its good sides, but it also has its bad sides. Exactly. Yeah, it can be used in a in a good way, and of course, it has the disadvantages of, you know, affecting our mental health and yeah. con- constantly comparing yourself to something that isn't necessarily true. Mm-hmm. Obviously, now with you guys, now that you're, you know, much more in the public eye, how do you deal with social media? Do you guys read comments people say about you, good and bad? I mean, the show still didn't come out, but we've been getting uh, a lot of love till now yeah. for the trailer yeah. and for the teaser. And we're amazing, really, amazing. Yeah, amazing really love. good. Uh, it's all love so far. Yeah, yeah, it's all love. Yeah. I think and then what would you, if you had kids right now, would you allow them to go on social media or Instagram or TikTok? Yeah, but with the rules. Yeah, definitely. I think so. Wait, they should have the you know the freedom to know what's going on yeah, in the world. See, yeah, see, yeah. <coughs> but also completely support them and understand what what they're seeing and what they're feeling and to have this very strong relationship with my kids and. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know why I'm talking about kids <laughs> I don't now, know. but but I have <laughs> I have two younger brothers, 
And I mean, yeah, they have TikTok, they have Instagram, <clears throat> but I mean, it really all depends on the parents. Yeah, yeah it's it the I think so. communication that needs to be very strong between the, mo- the yeah. parents and the kids yeah. to make sure that they're doing well and they're not being affected in a That bad they're in way. check, yeah. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> and then when you guys are practicing kind of horror <clears throat> scenes, do you guys... So I'm always curious to know, obviously, you're, you have to memorize lines and stuff. Do you put phones and everything away? Do you really just completely go into a zone? Do you have different methods of creating characters when you're creating them for a TV show like this? Um, I personally, I mean, the rehearsal stage with Tima, the director, was were very intense. So we already had understood our lines and each other's lines and the story and the core of the story. Um, but during filming, I mean, yeah, we didn't have our phones with us on set, I think. No, we didn't. No, on set. On set, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for on set, it wasn't, um, it wasn't even allowed. But I think for the very emotional scenes, we would have to focus. But for more uh, lighthearted scenes, we would sometimes take behind the scenes before we enter. And some videos and stuff, and then we focus. Uh, what do you think fans will expect now that the show is coming out soon? Well, what what's one what are the biggest things that you're kind of hoping that people will take from the season aside from what you already mentioned? Mm, I I think um, this season, I mean both seasons. You should it, it's it's all about kindness. You should just be yeah. kind to everyone because you don't know what each one of us is going through mm-hmm. and what others um, have behind closed doors going on. So you should always treat people with kindness. And I mean, that's what I got from the show. Yeah, just be humble. Yeah. Be humble. yeah and yeah, I, I would say also be authentic, be yourself, mm. um, because you can't be anyone else. You won't succeed at that. Mm. That's a good yeah, I think so. And do you think it's hard people's different kind of between who they are on social media and who they are in real life nowadays? I think with comparisons, because social media really opens the door for comparisons, for people to mm. compare themselves with others with an ideal image, as Tara yeah. mentioned, that sometimes doesn't really exist. It's just a, a picture. I think most of us just show our best part on social media and just the best bits of our lives, but not when we're feeling down. And yeah. that's yeah. what people see and compare themselves to. Yeah. Like people see what's best. Exactly. Yeah. Did you, any of you guys see past lives? I heard about it. I saw it. It has a very high rating on IMDb. I haven't watched no, it no. yet. It's on my list. I watch it. I don't think I've cried that much in a film, and maybe my really? entire life. So okay. Bring some tissue. I'm going to watch that. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. That's everything. Honestly, thank you Amazing. so, so, so much for thank taking you. time. Thank you. Thank you for thank your you time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing the show. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.